Good morning. I'm Nancy Christofferson. And I'm Larry Christofferson. And we've been members for a, a long time. No, it's not that long. <laughs> 43 years, maybe. Today, we're taking the story from A Story to Tell. And the lesson today comes from Mark chapter 14, verses 13 and 15. Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, and wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs. That's the ponder today. God's intention in creating the universe, it seems, is to create a place where all human beings could live as brothers and sisters in a community of faith, hope, and love, united by God's Holy Spirit with Jesus Christ, in harmony with the whole created universe. This comes from William H. Berry in Paying Attention to God. Our story to this begins, no, no, this room is much too small. And those chairs, chilly and stiff, don't you think? We need something bigger, warmer. That's what I would have said about the room in today's picture where I wanted those two disciples. Fortunately, they found something more spacious and hospitable, and it's a good thing that they did. Contrary to common depictions, there likely were more than 12 followers with Jesus at the Last Supper, and they probably reclined on cushions, not no chairs needed. Those two disciples went to find the room fit for Passover, a holy meal that tells a story of deliverance and hope. Passover recounts how God freed the people of Israel from bondage. Each person at the meal participates as the story is told so that they know this is my story. My life is part of the great story of God's liberating love. Jesus was about to write one more chapter in that story, surrendering his life to reveal the fullness of God's death-killing love and forgiveness for everyone even for those who put him to death. So he needed a big room, spacious and warm, for a story and a love that no room can hold. While we both love the wonder and the hope of Christmas, it's really the Lent season that means the most to us, especially Holy Week, where we learn of his agony and the despair that he went through for us, and then the joyous gift of resurrection. We've also been blessed this year to hear our Christian family share his story. With that, let us pray. Move our hearts to sing the story of your love, O Lord, and to proclaim your faithfulness forever. Amen.